see the size of that fish? Ah! It's another delicious day in the Dominican. Do you smell that? It's the tropics. Mm. Plus. Jeez Louise. I'm running away with the circus. It's happening soon. Welcome to Entertainment Tonight Canada, everybody. I'm Cheryl Hickey. And I'm Rick Campanelli. Find out how James Franco's love for Twilight got him the Oscar gig. We'll explain in seconds. And I'm Kim Dion in the Dominican Republic with our five Food Network celebrity chefs. Now today it is time for their final food challenge. Plus, I get to run away with the circus. Ah, can't wait for that, Kim. Now, I get so hungry watching those challenges. I know, I can hear your stomach. Brittany's back, everybody. <laughs> Coming up. Kim joins the circus. It's gonna be great. Then, this is what I'm talking about. It's another Celebrity Chef Challenge. Right now to ETCanada.com. Hey, haven't you always wondered what it would be like to run away with the circus? Come on, admit it. Well, today I get to find out if I missed my calling. And I'm bringing Chef Corbin Tomaszewski along for the ride. Have you ever wanted to be in the circus? Never, no. Oh, perfect. Well, this is great then, let's go. Food Network Canada fans will recognize Corbin as co-host of Dinner Party Wars. He's also the executive chef at Holt Renfrew. But tonight, he's got a solo in the circus. There is no safety net, so do, if you choose to, to go on the trapeze, there's a little mattress underneath. There is an air mattress, and I believe there's a tiny little man that's going to catch me. <laughs> Louise. <laughs> Turns out he's willing to lay it on the line for a taste of circus glory. This is where Corbin dislocates himself. <laughs> Oy vey. Do you think you can do that? Sitting? Can you do it again? I think I just get to flap around like a butterfly and... <laughs> With a little more practice and a few finishing touches, it's almost curtain time. I think you're gonna be great. I really do. So we have our costumes now. Can't wait to see you. So let's go get changed and I'll see you backstage. Let's do it. With a packed house and Corbin's fellow chefs in the audience, the pressure mounts backstage. I'm a little nervous, yeah, a little nervous. To tell you the truth, I'm a little nervous for you. <laughs> you could so, trip. I know, I could tell, actually, that's what's gonna end up happening. And now, our moment of truth. Keep the on and from the Food Network camera, the chef, Corbin Tomaszewski. Here goes. Yeah, remember how I said I'd probably trip? Well, I did. <laughs> but the show must go on. <laughs> Coming up, ready, set, cook. It's the grand finale to our Celebrity Chef Challenge in the Dominican Republic. All right, you guys, it's that time again. It is Celebrity Chef Challenge number three. Battling it out are Food Network chefs, Lynn Crawford, David Rocco, and David Adji. Joining me as judges are previous challenge winners, chefs Michael Blackie and Corbin Tomaszewski. So are you guys ready? Ready. Ready to reveal the secret Ready. ingredient? Ready. Three, right. two, one, reveal! The mystery ingredient is red snapper. And since there's only 30 minutes on the clock, Lynn and the two Davids snap to it. Oh, it's not looking good for Crawford today. I figure these guys are fancy pants. These guys are fancy pants chefs, right? They're gonna do some something really wild. So I might as well just go a bit old school. Getting crazy back here. Very nice, very nice. While the three remaining competitors do their thing, the judges have a little fun. <laughs> <laughs> Like yeah, it's all fun and games for Michael Corbin and I, but for David Adji, this competition is kind of dangerous. Did you cut yourself? Yep. 
Oh no, oh, we have an injury. Injury. Absolutely. Medic. Salt. Medic. I think it's pretty bad, actually. I don't want uh, bleeding in my food. Meanwhile, Lynn is struggling against the clock. Oh my lord! One minute. The stress of it all. <laughs> wait, wait, <laughs> Raider. Will she make the deadline? Four, three, two, one. Woo! Nice. Good job. Phew, she made it just in the nick of time. I haven't sweated so much. I think I, you know what? Days. I need a little Dominican massage. But does her dish have what it takes to beat out David Rocco and David Agee's creations? It's decision time. Beautiful. Mmm. 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 Sweet. Mm. It is really it's good. It's really good. I'm surprised because it doesn't look very good, but it tastes <laughs> so great. After a few more yummy tastings, we announce the third and final winner of our chef challenges. We are going to have to say Lynn Crawford. Congratulations. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Congratulations, all you guys. Thank you so much for uh, making our taste buds sing. Let's eat. Supported by Thomas Cook Canada, Club Diamond at Grand Bahia Principe Bavaro Resort, and SunQuest. Great vacations start here. What an amazing and tasty week I've had here at the Dominican Republic. I want to thank all of our Food Network chefs, our friends at Gran Bahia Principe Bavaro Resort, Thomas Cook and SunQuest for all their support. But all good things must come to an end. And as they say here in Punta Cana, adios. Okay, thanks, Kim, and look forward to seeing you on Monday. Now.